So there we go, that's pretty much it. Nice little selection around the bottom, click apply, and then there we go. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be doing the content aware fill tutorial. I hope you know that, obviously, you, I, I'm assuming you read the title of the video, but yeah, we're gonna be doing the content aware fill tutorial. So this is gonna be a nice little tip for you guys to have in your skill set because it's gonna be able to you know, allow you to remove things from images, which is, you know, sounds a bit stupid, but it can come in handy um you know day-to-day -day design and stuff i've been using it a lot especially for manipulations and stuff like that it's very handy just to get rid of some images that you, or you know things in the image that you don't need so yeah guys uh it helps you improve your backgrounds all these type of good things so uh yeah without further ado i'm gonna stop waffling now and get on with the video but yeah thank you so much for all the support on the recent videos and the youtube channel all the subscribers and everybody welcome hopefully you are enjoying the content i'm trying to be a bit more you know regular with the uploads uh, I think it's going good so far, but you know, hopefully uh, you are enjoying that. So yeah, make sure you uh, check out the Discord and the Patreon down below. The links are down below. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So guys, first things first, um, we're going to be getting rid of this boat. So I've got you an image here. So, you know, you might want this image for like a nice manipulation. You might like the beach, you might like the sea, but you know, the boat's in the way. So what do we do about the boat? So first things first, you're gonna get your image. Obviously make sure it's not a background layer. So it will be like locked as a background layer, but make sure it's like not a background layer anymore. And then we're gonna make a selection around our boat. As you can see, I have a selection already, but I'm just gonna deselect that. And I'm gonna show you how I did this. So what I did, I zoomed in on the boat and then I made an outline around where the boat is. Now you wanna be fairly accurate with this. Uh, make sure you get the whole area of the boat in, but you know, leave a little bit of space around the boat. Otherwise you're just gonna come up with, you know, uh, areas which, well, you know, when you, when you remove it, as you'll see now, sorry, when you remove it, you'll see that there's an outline of where the boat used to be if you do the uh, your, your selection too tight to the boat. So we want to leave a little bit of space around the edges just so everything blends in a little bit better. So that is what we're going to be doing here. So we've got our selection now. Uh, make sure your layer is rasterized. That's all good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to where it says edit and then we're going to go down to where it says fill uh, here, fill. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select content aware fill. So now, as you can see, we've been presented with this menu here. So the green, you might not have this. You might have it on auto or you might have it on, um, you know, custom is what I have it on a lot. But, you know, this is going to be very specific to what, you, you know, what your computer has already got. You might have used it before. I don't know. So you will be presented with this menu anyway with all this stuff on the right and then you'll have your brush your lasso tool hand and all that on the left so okay guys so you'll be presented with this area that it's going to fill up for you so this is the selection that the computer has made for you so what we're going to do first is we're actually going to just sort of play around with this so we can see here we've got an image of what it's going to look like here on the right so you can use your scale thing here just to sort of check out the area that you've selected and you can see it's done a pretty good job uh, but maybe here's a little bit rough, you know, it looks okay, but this is this is set to auto So this is the computer doing this for you. This is their selection. This is what they think works best You can obviously play around with this so you can select rectangular as well And that will give you a little bit of a different selection It will go all the way like a you know, obviously a rectangle. I mean, that's why it's called rectangular um, Yeah, so you can see here. It's not as good of a selection So we've got a little bit of water over leaking and, and you know the computer hasn't really got it as well probably because the sky is selected as well Which is something you don't need for this because obviously we just need the sea and the beach So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go here and I'm just gonna sort of remove this, you know beach uh, no, Not beach sorry the uh, sky uh, So we've removed the sky and then we're going to see what that does to the selection. So as you can see, it's made it a lot better. So we've got the nice bit of sea. We've got a nice bit of beach. And we can see here, if I zoom in a lot, we can see it's done a pretty good job. So there's a little bit here, which is a little bit off. But, you know, you've got to remember, if you're using this for something else, obviously you might put a person there or something, which it will, it will distract from this, like, little bit, which you, you know, which is a bugging you, I guess you could say. Um, so you've got to be very uh, easy with this because you might even use this for a background You might even not see that bit of the beach, but um, So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know for that um, and then if we go to custom This again is sort of your own thing so I can just do that. Yes, it ruins it So maybe we need a bit more beach. So if I go over here paint this area a little bit more Let's see what that does. So that makes it even nicer. So we've got rid of this bit of the beach here uh, Maybe a little bit here as well 
There you go. So we're starting to see, we're starting to sort of build up something that's actually working a lot better than it was before. So if I zoom out now, now as you can see, there is a little bit, you know, there's a little bit of a lip where the boat was. So maybe we do want this bit of the beach here. So a little bit more of a flat line, or maybe not so much that bit, but something that's just a little bit like that. There you go. So we've got a nice sort of seam where the, you know, the sea would be coming across um, and instead of a boat. So if I OK that now, all you need to do now, you don't need to worry about any of these settings here, just leave them as they are. So if I go now and I press apply, and then we go OK, and then zoom out, there we go. It's as if nothing was there. So let's turn up, we got a new layer as well, so you can obviously convert these or merge them together once you've done this. But you know, you can turn it on, off, on, off, on, off. It's like it was never there pretty much, guys. Obviously, there is a little bit here, but this will be due here this will be due to my selection um you know it's that bit of shadow there isn't it so realistically if we were doing it again i would probably include this bit in the selection just so you know <laughs> just so it's basically going to cover it up so i'll just quickly do it again um and then you can sort of see what i mean so if i go to edit content aware fill then there we go oh Okay, we'll go to our custom one. Um, let's just get let's just get rid of the sky again, just so I can quickly show you what I mean. So I'm not actually just just lying to you and being terrible at my own job. Um, so what do we do? We had this bit here gone, some of this gone. I'm never going to get as good again now. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty much it. Nice little selection around the bottom. Click apply, and then there we go. So if I zoom in now. Now this is being really picky. You can see the outline. So yes, you can't really tell, but it, you know it. It is there. Uh, again, you can obviously smudge this. You can get a smudge tool, or you know something that's going to uh, just you know push push the uh, line about like that. You know, you see what I mean. So you can get stuff like that, or you can play around with it. But again, when you zoom out, you can barely see it. Um, obviously, you can slightly see it if you exactly know. Or something like that but you know it, it's n it's nothing like you need to be worried about like if I even if I smudge it a little bit there see it, it's as if it was never there so obviously once you start putting stuff in this scene it's gonna look so much different and better so yeah guys so basically that's image number one I just wanted to show you a little bit of a basic image you know something you know that you can actually see where the effect is happening so if we go to image number two now which is gonna be a bit more of a sporty one I just want to show you how you can sort of remove this player here so you can maybe use the grass or you know the fans in the image just something you know very basic but you know it, it will help you in your designs so what we're gonna do we're gonna unlock the background and what we're going to do is go to our quick selection tool up in the top left then we're going to go to where it says select subject in the middle so click that and then it's obviously going to make a sub uh, selection around De Bruyne so now what do we do so we're going to do um, we're going to do I'm going to show you the content aware fill now so let's just go and do the content aware fill uh, and then as you can see here on the uh, on the right here hopefully the it's zoomed in for you um, you can see Okay, so now let me zoom in. You can see that there is a really strong apparent outline of De Bruyne, so where he was. So I mean, hopefully you can see that on the screen now, but you don't want that obviously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel this. So we've got our selection around him, but what we're gonna go uh, do is go to select, and then we're gonna go to modify and then expand. Now expand is gonna expand the uh, selection around him by however many pixels you choose. Now I usually do four. So if I do four here, now you can see if we zoom in a little bit, you can see that the uh, selections around him, uh, you know, it's not right tight to him. This is what I was saying about the boat earlier. So you can even do maybe six for this one. So maybe we can just go back, just uh, undo that and then go to select, modify, expand, select six. Now we've got a bigger one, it's got pretty much all of him in. And now we can do the same process again. So let's go to Edit, Content Aware Fill. And then, now this should obviously load up. Now you can see it's pretty much gone. Okay? So, if I apply that now. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't going to look perfect. Okay? You can see it kind of. But just think about it. If you were putting another player in that design, 
you know, I don't know, it could be a kit swap you've done, it could be a manipulation you want to do, you just want the grass. You can obviously smudge that in at the bottom a little bit, or, you know, even just get rid of that bit uh, and uh, use the clone patch tool and bring some of the grass across. Maybe another tutorial I'll do in the future. But as you can see, I know this bit here. Um, let me just uh, get my selection tool. I know this bit here looks a bit odd. But again, you're not going to not going to see that because you're going to be putting another image there of a player, so it's going to be blocked out. So forget about that. But if you think about the tough up here, the stuff up here, obviously there's a little bit of hair. Maybe we could have made the selection a little bit bigger. So it's same here, a little bit here. But as an idea, you know, as a tool, if I made the selection a little bit bigger here, you can obviously clean this up when you're doing it in your own designs. But I just wanted to show you this basic tutorial to get you going. Um, but you can do whatever you want with this. You can get rid of anything, you can manipulate images and it makes life so much quicker because it's such an easy tool to use. Uh, but basically, that is it guys. Um, if you have any questions obviously about the tool, let me know on Instagram or you know in the comments down below. I'm always you know replying to comments. Uh, yeah guys. So that is it. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed the video and hopefully you've learned something new because I know a lot of people don't use this tool. So uh, hopefully, you know, you have learned a new skill here and hopefully you do develop that as you go on through your designs. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is all from me today. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Obviously, check out all of the other videos in the links down below. Obviously, go on the channel, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. It just helps out, you, uh, you know, the YouTube algorithm find these videos so more people like you can enjoy these tutorials.